guys hope all is well my name is Dr. Sisnet if you are new to the channel please subscribe so I told you on the 9th which this should have been the ninth day of my USML um, studying I told you I wanted to do 40 questions someone told me from before that you know you're not gonna always meet your targets which is common sense so I was just like okay I'm gonna try to at least you know get three quarters of it done per night I got like 10 questions done I read a couple pages in first aid and in two twos I dropped off right after work so I said, okay, at work I have a lot of downtime, so what I do is do some questions during the break. Did 28 questions, and then I went home and got caught up with my kids, and I did no, no extra questions um, yesterday. So it would have been 28 from yesterday, which would have been the lag from the day before, which I was supposed to do 40. So I've done 38 questions in two days, which isn't much if you think about it. And the aim is to do... 40 questions per day, which would mean that I was supposed to do 80 questions already. But that's just how it's going to go at times. Um, you can get really discouraged when you're doing SMLE. You watch a lot of the, if you're on the YouTube page, on the YouTube, the Facebook pages, you can see person saying they read these, you know, the questions in a short space of time. I saw one person post about doing um, you, like 40 questions in four hours. It was just like, whoa. So, for me, it doesn't. It's not that sharp because I, I don't do it like a person say to do it where they said annotate the first aid. I don't do that. I just make my notes separate and apart, and that's what I do. What I did, what I found was interesting is that I actually reviewed some questions that I had done before the knife, um, <laughs> yesterday, and I got some of them wrong again. So I was just like, what is going on here? Because I mean, if I'm studying and I've done questions within the last nine days, I shouldn't be getting the same questions wrong and I should have my answers justified. But there's silly mistakes and there are mistakes that it's better to make now than to make in the examination. Um, today was a slow day at my office. Um, when I talked to a lot of the GPs in the area, they say the same thing that, you know, COVID knocked out their, their patient base so they're not trying to build back up. So I'm not too discouraged. Actually, I'm actually more encouraged now because I'm seeing a little a little change in the number of patients and if it was to trend upwards I mean school and this examination could be a, a, a definite possibility um, so I'm just being patient I mean some days it's, some days I must say I'm, I'm a little bit less impatient or less sorry I'm a little bit more impatient than others but it's looking up very very like a this but oh. But it's looking up. So tonight I'm gonna to try to catch back up on the number of questions. Today I was supposed between the ninth and today I was supposed to have done 120 questions. I've only done 38. So my aim tonight would be 40 if I can. When I get home I'll sleep and then I'll try to do uh, 40. If I can do more, even better. If you have done USMLE and you've done your world before, you know it's very very challenging to get into the groove of doing 40 questions per night and read the answers and the both right and wrong answers and the justifications of the answers so it's it's not that easy and I don't know how people do 40 questions straight I don't do 40 questions straight I, what I'll do is do 10 relax a bit 10 relax a bit and I just wonder how that will be when it comes to the real exam because the real exam is 45 minutes um, 45 minute blocks and there are eight of these blocks. I always wonder how I'm going to manage sitting down for eight hours straight. So I, I need to get my stamina up. So tonight what I'll do is try to do um, 40 straight and then afterwards do, so I'll eat, rest, wake up, do 40 straight and do maybe if I can do another 40 straight to see if I can catch back up and move from there because I this, this exam is about stamina more so than the it's different from the mrcs the mrcs examination is like if i remember correctly six hours and it's two three and a half three hour papers but it's one subject which is surgery while you estimate is everything so it's going to be kind of challenging to focus on on the um focus for 45 minutes in these kinds of oh, well, when these kinds of questions are being answered and if you read your somebody questions they're set up even more um different um than the they're even more different than the mrcs questions usmd questions are long the vignettes are long 
Like, you can actually take, for me, I can take all a minute and a half to read a question. So if you do a minute and a half for a question, and it's 45 minutes, and you have 45 questions, you have a minute per question. So I'm thinking to myself, I need to get my groove together. I need to get my act together because if I'm at this pace for my final USMLE exam, I'm never going to be able to finish the exam. And that's all part of, of this um, journey. You have to finish, at least try to finish the exam. So I want to answer. My goal is to answer every single question. I don't want to come out and leave, and, I, and you know, leave out this and leave out that. No, I want to finish every single question on the exam. And that's my goal for most exams. Especially when it's multiple choice, no, I'm not. I can't risk that. So that's the plan. So tonight I'm on a strict schedule, a minute of question, and then what I'll do is review the vignettes afterwards and see how how well I did. Because if I review the vin um, the vignettes and the and the questions right after the answers right after I do the question, then obviously that will take longer than. The minute that you require so just answer all the 45 or the 40 questions and then after then afterwards i'll review the answers for each question and see if i got it right so that's my plan um guys i know some persons might be feeling a bit down because of the covid um, pandemic it's i can't say when it's going to go but i just know that some of us are studying for exams and it's a bit rough especially since you can't go any place to relax most persons um, use a gym or out with friends or partying we just gotta push through. So keep subscribing. Thanks for this for, for watching.